We are at State
Scheiße. I'm not very good with these.
Hey guys, we're here at the little pantry. I'm here with my mother-in-law. We're gonna uh, see how much stuff we can get in there. There's already some stuff in here and it's kind of small, so. Ooh, this thing's falling apart. We hold this light. Yep, gotcha. Readjust my camera. I don't got time to make it too nice, but It's mostly chips that I find. holds more than it looks like. Yeah. Crackers. Sorry I'm rushing guys. We, uh, we've been out all day and my husband's ready to go home because he didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And it's cold. So I'm just going to pile these different protein bars up. Huh? Uh, people who need it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's like a little self-community. Really? Uh, self-serve. Well, we emptied one box. Let's see what we can get out of this other one. We can put some of this stuff right here up there. Back here. Probably a wonder one there. Oh, back there too. Um Yeah, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the drinks on the ground because it's cold. We actually, we actually got all of that in there. Mm -hmm. So that pantry is bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. What is that? Does that lock or yeah, that's yeah, just the handle? <laughs> okay. I know y'all probably can't see anything because the camera's aimed down, but we're just gonna leave the drinks out here on the ground. It's kind of unsteady. Maybe I think I should just lay them down. Yeah. Yeah, where they won't roll. I actually could have brought some more stuff. I probably could have brought another one of these bins. I didn't. That's good. 
All right, there you go. We filled up this little pantry, sort of. There's still some room, but hey, there's more than more than there was. Hey guys, this is everything um, that we got from that Walgreens trip. Um, it's a bunch of snacks. There's a whole bunch of fig cookies. I know that other divers, you know, they'll sit there and they'll go through the stuff while they're at the dumpster, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, I like to just grab it and bring it home. So there's like, uh, I don't know, like 10 packs of fig cookies, some pumpkin spice moon pies. There's like four boxes of those. This is all stuff that'll be really good to take to a food pantry. Like the little pantry. And then I'm not going to take all of these out because this entire bin is full of these um, packs of cookies. Oatmeal raisin. Um, snickerdoodle. And chocolate chip. And they are still nice and soft. And I didn't see a recall on them. So I'm assuming they're fine. Uh, what was the... I think they were still... Um, the best by date was still, let's see, where did it go? Yeah, February 9th, 21. So, I'm not sure why they threw those away. These are some little Japanese cookies that are good until August of this year. Um, the box was kind of crushed. Some Starburst drink mix. I don't know how that is. And then some ramen noodles. Just a little bit crushed. Um, but other than this, we also got a pretty decent score from Michael's. Um, which I didn't record that dive because it's a locked dumpster. But I know a way to <laughs> get in that one. Um, so when I go there, it's grab and go. But I will show you um, that haul here in just a minute. Okay, so in this box, I think um, there is a couple of things, a couple of other things from Walgreens, actually, that I got on that same trip. Um, this is crazy. It's inflatable push bumpers. Um not sure what that's about. Might be fun for me and the hubby to um, knock each other around. <laughs> I haven't actually checked it out. It feels heavy, so I'm thinking everything's in there. But honestly, I don't know. I'll probably just donate that to Goodwill or something. Um, this also, I believe, was in that Walgreens bag. There's... One, two, three, four of those out of six. Let's see. These were Walgreens, I believe. It all starts running together, so. <laughs> and I believe those were Walgreens as well. This was Walgreens. Some mascara. Um, this was a uh, lip pencil. Nope, it's an eyeliner. Um, what else? And I'm sure that this toothbrush was from Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. So I believe everything. Oh, nope. <laughs> Sorry. Um, these glasses were also from Walgreens, and so are these slippers. They're a size 8-9. Um, they still have the paper in them. I'm not sure why they threw them away. 
So that's cool. Okay, everything else in here, I think, came from Michael's. So we got two picture albums, which is really cool. Uh, because I like the idea of having actual pictures. I know most people, or probably a lot of people, just, uh, you know, they think it's just do the digital. But it could still be nice to have actual copies. Nothing wrong with them, so that's awesome. It's a little ornament. It had a little light in it. I took it out because I actually just like it like that. So, um, I'm not sure what this is. No idea. Stamp says baby on it. It was clearanced out for $2.99. There's a bunch of these uh, so for jewelry making. $1.27. Not sure why they threw them away. I know they threw these glass beads away because some of them are cracked in half. But there's still a bunch that you could use to make jewelry making. Some more glass beads. I gotta try to go a little bit faster because there's a lot to show you guys. That's really pretty, they're heavy stones and just the bottom one is broken. Um, a little monogram, M, pretty. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this stuff. I was thinking about making a, um, a craft box because I'm sure some of you are really into crafts. Um, and maybe, maybe just selling a craft box for like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. What are these for? Is it for like embroidery? Yeah, embroidery. That's what my, that's what my mother-in-law told me. Silver plated earrings, backs. Oh, that's cute. It's a little seahorse. Uh, we got an L. We got... What is that? I don't know what kind of bird that is. So many of those. Some more embroidery letters. These really pretty um, beads. Charms. Those are really pretty. I really like this. It's too bad it's uh, it's actually cracked, but it can be fixed, you know, it can be glued back together. It's a really pretty pendant. There's another one, and I don't see anything wrong with this one, and I really like it. It's really pretty. Let's see here, little horsey or a unicorn. What is that? Oh, that's a Pegasus, huh? No, it doesn't have wings. Um, was that another seahorse? I think this must have been in there lost and found because you can tell that it's been, it's had some wear on it. So just a cute little watch. I don't think it's like anything too great. It just says made in China. It doesn't have a brand name on it. Got some lights here. Some little star lights. They take so much um, juice though from the batteries. You have to constantly change the batteries out. So I don't really like these. I'm definitely not going to keep those. J. Some modeling clay. It's still really soft. They taped it up. Um, that's, I know that stuff's probably not cheap, so that's cool. And then these two things came from Staples, and I thought that I sent my, my, my mother-in-law was just here visiting, and I thought that I sent this with her, but I guess I forgot. It's a fountain pen. Um, look at that retail price on that thing. Well, 50 bucks. 
and then this was in the staples as well it's a label and postage printer I don't know um, I wonder if it works because I'm definitely not going to use it I would just probably sell this or give it away I gotta start getting rid of stuff because it's taken over because that's how much I've been finding lately and as much as I dislike clutter I also dislike the idea of all of these things that can be used going to the landfill so right now I'm dealing with it cluttering up my house um, but definitely here soon I'm gonna have to do a purge so if you guys would be interested in buying boxes that I put together, let me know if you would prefer to know what's in the box or if you're interested in like a mystery box type of deal. All right, but let me um, go ahead and get the next box opened up because there is another one. I believe we also went to five below that night. Yeah, so most of this looks like it was from Five Below, but I do see a couple things that got mixed in. Um, this came from Michaels. It was just, it was just pulled out like that. So I, I thought it was broke, but <clears throat> excuse me, it just goes back in there, and you can put your earrings on it. Actually, it looks like this part, the first one, the first tier of it is bent, but I'm sure. You know, that doesn't really matter to, to whoever would use it. I'll find someone to give that to. This cute little, I, I don't know, is that a moose? <laughs> he needs to be washed. So since we're actually sitting right next to my dirty laundry, I'll just tuck him in there, in that basket there. That's a cute little watermelon sponge. aromatherapy essential oils um, somebody was just asking me oh my mother-in-law <laughs> I gave her a diffuser that I found and she was asking me if it had the oil in it this I should have gave her this but I didn't I forgot about it darn it I've been finding a lot of pressed on nails and I've actually even been wearing some this is definitely not my style this, so, something like this could go in a mystery box or, you know, whatever. A uh, phone case for iPhone 11. I found some really neat stuff at this Five Below. Um, like these packages here. The You can see that it's missing two nail polishes. But they just fell down there. Um... You could just open it and pop them back in there. And that would be a good little gift for someone. And here's another one. And this one, I don't even see anything wrong with it at all. The box isn't crushed. Nothing's out of place. Um, not sure why they threw that away. Very cute. Another one of those nail sets. It's all fallen. It's all over the place in there. But. Stress ball. Fill with sand, I guess. Usually, I the things I find from Five Below are pretty destroyed, but um, this was actually a pretty decent score. Sorry my voice is cracking. I'm really tired. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. The kids have been staying up till 6 and 7 in the morning. It's really hard to get kids. Sorry, I completely forgot that I had ordered pizza. Yeah. Um, I guess that was from 5 Below. Yeah. 
Oh, did they cut them? No. Um, turban. And bouffant. Is that how you say that? <clears throat> oh, that's what we were looking at. A little speaker. It's in there. It's taped up, so... I'm just going to leave it in there. This is really cute. It's a pair of pajama bottoms. They're a size medium. And they have owls all over them. I happen to love owls. They're my favorite animal ever. Next to owls would be giraffes. But it's very close. <laughs> And there's a little pillow. It's super soft and it has a hole in it that I did not notice before. That I can just um, sew up and I will probably do that and then just take it to Goodwill. Excuse me. Cute little picture globe. Yeah, I did notice that it has a dent in it that you can't get it out because it just it keeps creating a new one. So, I wonder if you could add water to it somehow. Probably not, huh? A little donation. Oh, I didn't notice there was a receipt in there. case and some earbuds package still looks really good on those I don't think they've even ever been taken out got a couple of miscellaneous cables in there um, oh yeah there was something else from uh, Michaels I forgot to show you guys It's this four foot tall, um, if you can see that, four foot tall indoor outdoor LED birch tree. And this is a good example of why you should take things even if they say they're damaged. Because there was a tag on this, um, some receipt paper, and on it they wrote damaged, lights do not work. Of course, I took it home and took it out of the package and the lights do work and it's really pretty. And I'm gonna keep this. Um, I've basically been keeping all of the Christmas stuff that we've been finding because my husband really loves Christmas, so. Oh, from Michael's, I forgot, speaking of Christmas. We found this really cute Santa. I don't know what, I think maybe they threw him out because of that. But I can just put a little black paint over it. Or maybe they just tossed him because it's, it was after Christmas. Um, the price on that is ridiculous. $29.99 for just a, a... I mean, it feels pretty cheaply made. But that'll be cute sitting out next year. And that's it for um, Walgreens. Um staples michaels and five below i have some other totes that are completely overflowing that i found from tj maxx in burlington which are two new locations that i found near me um, that don't have compactors and i i'm gonna show you that in a different video because it would make this video too long but um the actual dive part of that, those two, was not recorded because whenever I go to a new place, I like to check it out 
the first time without recording just so I'm more aware of my surroundings and everything. But now that I have been there and I got, you know, have an idea of how it's going to go, um, I'll definitely make sure to record the next time because I, I do see that I'm probably going to continue to get um, some really good scores from there. But I'm sorry it took me so long to upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am really tired, so I'm sorry if it's not up to par. I have noticed lately that pretty much as soon as I upload my video, it's getting um, a dislike. Like, I think somebody turned on their notifications just to give me a dislike because they are on top of it. And for the most part, you know, I don't get a whole lot of dislikes because if you're looking at my video, it's because you're, you want to watch um, people find things from, save it from the landfill, dumpster dive, you know, there's not a whole lot to criticize and I don't think my video is too bad. So anyway, I just wanted to say hello to that hater. Go ahead and give it that thumbs down because I know you're going to. <laughs> For the rest of you, I appreciate the support. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope everyone had a really happy holiday season and we're all glad to see 2020 end and we're hoping for a much better 2021.